We Korean psychiatrists face a dilemma of a staggering proportion concerning the seriousness of the urological affliction known as ADHD. What is this dilemma? This problem concerning ADHD. The problem is in the very name itself. The name itself, ADHD, is a frivolous designation. ADHD sufferers are afflicted with an inability to pay attention. That's it? No, of course that's not it. ADHD is far more ominous than a mere paying attention problem. It is a severe developmental disorder. What type of developmental disorder? One that has to do with self-regulation and not attention. To refer to ADHD as a mere inattention problem is to treat the same in the most offhanded and shallow manner. To be cognizant of the fact that ADHD sufferers experience traffic accidents three to four times more frequently than non-ADHD persons and attribute this to a superficial attention problem is to completely miss the forest for the trees. We need the public to be aware of the profound depth of this matter. The word attention deficit is superficial at best in gleaning what has gone awry in describing the ADHD affliction. At the core of ADHD is a self-control issue. Self-control is not acquired through learning. Let me repeat that. Self-control is not acquired through learning. Upbringing is not a factor in ADHD self-control. Self-control is neurogenetically determined. The only conclusion then we can draw from this is that ADHD, which is a self-control problem, is a neurogenetically based. So then, human capacity for self-regulation is a neurobiological or neurogenetic in origin. This has a serious ramifications. This means that the majority of any population any place in the world is able to regulate and modify their behavior, their emotions, based on their own neurobiological makeup. How then does the parental upbringing factor into the childhood experience? Clearly, they are not in control of the actual bio-neurological self-regulation process what role then do they play? Parents create a sport environment, providing nurture and care for the budding neurobiological mechanism that reside starting from the frontal all the way back to the occipital lobes. The vitally important care will allow the neurobiological mechanism to flourish and develop as nature originally intended it to. Without the loving, nurturing parental factor, normal neurobiological control regulation development will be impacted, delaying normal growth and development of those viral structures requisite for self-control and ultimately happiness and full satisfaction in life. 
So, on this most serious and solemn note, let's end today's lecture. This is Dr. Tom from Ulsan.